Afternoon, VC. All right, so today was Dylan's big anniversary sale. I think it's five years. Could be wrong on the year. Um, but I think he's been, I think he's had the shop five years. Uh, so he does the huge drops uh, for this. And I got four records. So I'll show you these, and I had a couple come in the mail. Um, let's show this one. Uh, got the MC5. Kick out the jams, and this is the uncensored uh, first pressing. Um, beautiful, beautiful copy. Um, I have like a fifteen dollar copy, a reissue. Um, it's a it's it's beat to hell. So this was a major upgrade, um, and to it, for to be the uh, rare version was cool. So I grabbed that off the wall. And I did get, he had two copies of the Ngozi family, uh, Danger 45,000 volts. I did get volume two. Um, the record itself is really nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to spinning this. Um, that was the heavy hitter of the day. Uh, the guy in line in front of me got the other copy. Um, he also got, he drove from, he, you know, he drove down about, he left about 1.30 in the morning. And he got down, um here and he he did not waste his trip he got that other Ngozi he got the witch introduction he got the our traveling band Satori and he got the Alice in Chains the tripod album so he, he he swung for the fences but that's those are the two wall ones and then I did get a couple of cheap records got this Hawkwind um, what's the name of this one Hall of the Mountain Grill this is the last one I needed didn't have it, it as super cheap I don't have no idea what pressing that is, but it's in good shape. And then this was one Dylan said he let go from his personal collection, uh, Music Universe Volume 1, the Peace Church Concerts. This is the only jazz record I got. This has uh, Carl Berger and Dave Holland and others. Uh, double LP. Uh, Indian Navigation. So this was a this was a cool find. Um, that was like 20-some bucks. So made out really well. Um, in the mail... I got one from Dusty Groove. Uh, they marked it down considerably. They marked it down 40 bucks off the price they had on it, so I jumped on it. Uh, from Stixland with Love, Drums and Folklore from George Grunts uh, and a host of other Swiss drummers. Um, this is from 1967, I believe. Um, really good. Get the guys showing off on the drums. Uh, but there is some cool horn playing on this, too, from like Nathan Davis. So this was a cool find. Um, it's on Saba. It's a German original press. It's a, the gate full with a lot of words, a lot of information on what this recording was all about. I'm going to show you the Saba label. There you go. Um, yeah, really cool record. And I'd love to find more in this series. It's, it's from this series that was put out on Saba or S-A-B-A. Um, but that's a cool record. Daniel Himmer on there, he's so good. Um, great Swiss drummer. Um, and then I did get an original of uh, Rashida Lee, Frank Lowe, Duo Exchange, my pretty much top record in existence. Um, this was an upgrade copy for me. The record itself is VG++. Uh, and the cover is not too shabby either. So that that's an upgrade. I've already sold my other copy. Um, but yeah, short video. Um, congrats to Dylan. Um, the line went out to the gun store and beyond. Uh, by the time the store opened, it was a madhouse in there. Um, the wall got pretty, pretty heavily cratered right at the beginning. Um, and yeah, there was, I didn't even look through all the bins because there was too many people to wait for to even get to a bin. Um, so I just grabbed those there and uh, enrolled. Zonkman was up there from the VC, John Digital Gramophone, Chance, Concert Buddy. Uh, Kendall was there. Um, yeah, Zonkman drove down from Winston. He, he, he found some good stuff. Um, I'll be interested to see if he picked up the St. John Green. I put that in his hands. But yeah. Uh, good day. Hope you're well. Peace.